All right, everybody. Tonight I'm doing a nightly shave video, and uh, I just wanted to do another soap review. This soap that was given to me to give it a shot today it was a uh, it's a eucalyptus and uh, mint soap, and it uh, also came with its corresponding or its accompanying pairing. Um, bomb as well done by a company called local gent shaving company that's the that's the label right there and so this is the bomb it comes in a container like this I don't know how many ounces there are but there it is it smells really good actually it's kind of reminds me of um, mint chocolate chip ice cream so you get the soap. Uh, the soap didn't come in a, in a container. It comes. It came by itself in a package. Um, so I put it in this container here. Uh, and I'm going to return it as such. I kind of just pressed it in the bottom, threw some water on top, so I can bloom it a little bit. And I just took a shower, and uh, facial hair is all wet, cleaned out. A um, couple things about them: the local gent shaving company. They were established in 2012. Uh, they're known for using beef tallow. Um, they got a pretty good website. It's pretty informative. They explain all their products, uh, which I do like quite a bit. Uh, this particular soap goes for four ounce puck. You can get it for twelve dollars, so it goes about three three dollars uh, an ounce, which again not the cheapest I've ever seen, but not bad either. It's a pretty good price. Um, this particular soap, the ingredients I had to write down here because I didn't. I don't have a packaging with them on it so uh it's got water avocado oil organic tallow coconut oil shea butter stearic acid vegetable glycerin um potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide bentonite clay fragrance and essential oils so overall a pretty good list as far as i'm concerned um they got a lot of good ingredients there especially stearic acid i'm kind of a big fan of that obviously um so uh, i'm really excited to give this a shot it smells good uh, blooming it, but uh, you know, obviously we're gonna throw some of that bloom water on my face and go from there. Tonight we're gonna use my go-to brush whenever I do a uh, a uh, soap review, and that's the Omega Pure Boar Hair brush. It's been soaking in my bowl. I'm going with my Mule R41, that Astra SP blade. This is an open comb Astra SP blade on its second use get that all since there tighten it up a little bit we're gonna work on getting the sink here filled right up with get the bowl going on all right we're just about ready to get this party started so i hope everybody's having a good evening another cold night here in new england the wind's kind of blowing a little bit so we're going to go ahead and put some of this bloom. There's not a whole lot of bloom water on this since I've been soaking it. But um, anyway, we'll, we'll put what's in here on my face. Hmm. Well, smells nice. Again, it kind of reminds me of chocolate, uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. One of my favorites. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a good scent. So, we're going to go ahead and load the brush up with what's in here. Go ahead and load that right up. Now I tend to use a lot of soap, but this is not my puck, so I really don't want to blow through it. Um, so that, that should be okay to uh, get it going. Again, you can really smell the, the, the mint. Um, anyway, so I got the bowl in here with just a tad bit of water, and we're going to go ahead and bowl lather this up. See how this works out. Loads pretty well. Um, I can't complain there. Loaded right up. So that, that's a good thing. 
right off the bat. Wow. It just explodes. Look at that. And it's only been, I've only been uh, lathering this for a couple seconds here. The water, bloom water on my face is already dried up, but I'm not really concerned about that because I haven't, um, I didn't, there really wasn't much in there anyway. So, wow, this, uh, I'm impressed with how much lather I got out of this. That, wow. I mean, look at that. That, that's, I don't know if the light, you can really see that. Try to get it in there, but that, that's pretty good. I, in fact, it's, I can already feel the slickness on my fingers. I'm gonna go to my Allen block here and there. Allen block is a good thing to have when you're, especially in the beginning of your shave when you're, you know, making the lather because it, it takes anything. You, you could cover this entire brush in lather and rub your fingers in the Allen block, grab a hold of it, it's gonna stick right to it like sandpaper. So, yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and Put this on my face, just gonna wet my face a little bit. All right, let's go ahead for that first. Wow, they're here. Hmm, I think I need more water. <laughs> Tends to be a thirsty soap. I'm gonna give you that. That that's my initial impression. Not a bad thing. Just it just is. Some soaps are like that. Some people, for some reason, that really bothers. Um, I never quite got that. Unless you know, I mean, if you're kind of a slow shaver like I sometimes am, and the soap dries out while you're shaving, that's kind of a pain in the ass. So, but we'll see how this one does with that. Okay. I almost said got my brush in one hand. I got my uh, razor, rocking and rolling, ready to go. Pretty well covered, you can see there. Uh, it's not the greatest coverage, but I don't want to sit here and be, you know, lathering up all night either. So let's give this a shot and see what she can do. Remembering to keep my blade at 30 degrees. Always a 30 degree angle to start off with, especially if you don't know your blade. If you or you're if you're trying a new blade or a new razor, 30 degrees is kind of a safe bet. Well, it's working so far. Remember, when you're doing this too, not a lot of pressure. 
light, light, light pressure, if any at all. If you're using the new razor or new blade, you're better off for that first couple times not using any pressure. You know, even if you don't end up with the closest shave, just just till you're used to that blade or till that razor, you know, you want to make sure that you you're not using any pressure. Once you're used to it and you know how it's gonna cut or how it's not gonna cut. Okay. First impression, smells good, scent is good, it's light, it's a lighter scent. I tend to like heavier scents, but if you're somebody that doesn't, this is a good soap for that. Uh, you can really check out, you can really smell the mint. To me, it kind of smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Pretty good scent, as far as I'm concerned. Um, slickness is there. Uh, it it uh, the load the brush loaded really well really easily with that um, and it made a lather the lather just exploded as soon as I started you know working it in the bowl so I have no complaints there uh, not a lot of slickness left on my face but some so we're gonna go ahead and lather that up for another another pass here. Plenty of lather left in the bowl. Cross grain towards my eyes. pull that skin here. All right, towards my eyes. Remember to pull the skin. When you're shaving, it's very important to pull that skin nice and taut.
You can tell it's a weekend because I, I really think people think outside my house is a racetrack. I mean, it sounds like it anyway. I feel like I lived through a Fast and Furious movie. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not the best, but not bad. Um, so far on this, the aid, the tag. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to rate this until I'm done with it. Um, uh, that's not fair to do. So. I'm gonna kind of experiencing a little bit of stinging on my skin. I don't usually, there's only, there's only one other soap I've gotten that from. And it was actually not a local artisan, believe it or not. So uh, I'm wondering if there's something in the ingredients list that I might be allergic to. We'll see. Actually, we won't see. I don't care. I just want to finish doing the shave and see how we do here. So I'm sure the stinging will go away once I wash the set the soap off. Uh, again, against the grain, but this time away from my eyes. Okay. All right. Um, so like this is still there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna pause the video, the video, and 
do a an against the grain pass and a cleanup pass, and I'll let you come. I'll come back with my final thoughts on it. That way, we're not boring you with the entire shave. So, um, so we will be right back. Hi there. All right. All cleaned up. I did a. Uh, I did it against the grain pass, and then I did a um, cleanup pass through some witch hazel on my face. I used uh, T. N. Dickinson's smelling witch hazel. I hate witch hazel. I mean, it's good for my skin, but I hate the way it smells. It stinks. Uh, I got the soap put away, uncovered. It's drying upside down just to kind of get all the extra water out of it. So, uh, what's left? I was going to throw some aftershave on my face, but usually I do, but uh, I'm going to go with the balm, the post-shave or aftershave balm. Um, I don't... Yeah, it's not really focusing too well on that, um, but... Um, it doesn't look like the ingredients are listed underneath it anyway, so we're going to go ahead and that's what it looks like. Go ahead and Nice. It smells just like the uh, the uh, the shave soap, obviously. Um, not quite as slick as like the Nivea that I tend to use. Um, it could be my skin. My skin could be just soaking it up tonight, and that happens. My I tend to have really, really dry skin, as a lot of people do during the winter. So, but smells nice, feels good on my skin. So, um, all right. So the aftershave balm, I do like it. It's got, it's got a slight cooling effect to it. It's not like menthol or anything by any means, but it's got a slight cooling effect to it. Uh, the, the smell is nice, slickness is there. I think my skin's probably soaking it up a lot, so it feels a little bit drier than some of the others. But um, again, this isn't mine, so I don't want to exactly um, put a whole bunch of it on my face either. So, uh, got to work on your labels, local gent. They're not waterproof. So, just telling you. Anyway, uh, so that's that. The soap, final thoughts on the soap. Uh, slickness is probably a 7 out of 10. It could be better. Um, it's there. Uh, ease of, of loading, 10 out of 10. That's wicked easy to load. Um, as far as loading or uh, lathering in the bowl, no problem at all. I didn't try a face lather with it, but I imagine that I'd have the same results. I mean, it, that, that stuff just exploded once I put it in the bowl and started moving it around. It was crazy. Um... I did use a brush with a lot of backbone in it. Uh, one of my synthetics doesn't have a lot of backbone, so I don't know how it would have reacted with that. Or not one of my synthetics. Actually, it's not my synthetic at all. My Badger hairbrush doesn't have a lot of backbone, so I'm not sure how it would have done with that. But it doesn't matter. It lathered, or it loaded and lathered very well. Uh, cushion was there. I'd say 9 out of 10. Um, post shave. Slickness really wasn't, I mean, like I said, I, well, it didn't leave my skin feeling too, too dry, but I definitely could use some touching up, I think, in the, in the, in the artist, in the, in the uh, recipe department. Um, as far as in between lathers, it, I mean, it kept its, it kept its slickness between one and two, three. Before it started to dry out, I started getting getting this stinging on my skin, uh, about the fourth lather, or third lather in rather. Um, that may have been my skin being really dry, because it, it has been really dry th today, and I didn't, I didn't put anything on my face like I usually do. 
Uh, but there is another soap that, that does that to me as well. Um, so I'm, not, I'm wondering if there's an ingredient in the two soap, these two particular soaps that maybe I'm just sensitive to. Um, so would I necessarily reach for this in my shaving den? Probably not because of the stinging factor. That's just me. All right, that may not happen to you. It, it, the, you know, the soap that that happens to me on, um, I'll do another review on that at another time, but that soap um, is a very well-known soap and a lot of people use it. It's very popular and, and it's a good soap. It's just, for me, that's what it does to me. And this does the same thing. So, um, but the ingredients are top-notch. The price point, it's right, it's right about there. It's a little bit on the higher side for me, but eh, whatever. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it. Sure, I'd recommend it. I'd recommend it to some people. Uh, have you guys give it a shot. So, um, but anyway, so that being said, uh, that's it. That's done. I'm done for the shave tonight. I'm gonna, just going to go relax, get something to drink, watch some TV, and I hope you guys are doing the same. So hope you guys enjoy your night, and uh, have a great e good evening, and have a great shave. See you later.